boy is drunk. Surprise. I can agree with that statement. The being drunk parts. Not that it's a surprise. Uh... See, I was doing this for kind of fun, and then it got kind of out of hand. And then someone ended up dead. God damn, was there a way I could have stopped that? I don't think so. Screw it. Go to the hope. Let's do this. If it ends up being too long, I can split it up in recording, but Please I want to actually make some progress. I need you to reroute power from our ship to the hope's auxiliary generator. You'll have to connect me to the Hope's comm system so I can convince her central computer to enable the skip drive. Okay, what happens if I skip the Hope? If your calculations are even slightly off, you could crash the entire colony ship into Terra 2. Thanks for, for that. Oh, thank you. <laughs> um, tell me about the Hope. The Hope is the Groundbreaker's prettier, sleeker sister. She Ooh. wandered off and got lost for 70 years. But just recently was found. Also, there are hundreds of thousands of frozen organic life forms hibernating in her pole. Hold on, hundreds of thousands? I didn't realize we were working on that kind of a scale. Jesus. Okay, uh, let's go down there. I want to actually make some progress. I don't know if I've ended up splitting this from the previous piece or if I've kept it here. But I don't know. It is what it is. Honestly, I would have shot every guard there if it wasn't for the fact that that would bring me probably bring me down to enemy of the board, which I already am, but like properly enemy of the board and probably result in me getting shot on sight. Considering the fact that I'm probably going to have to go back there eventually, I don't exactly want to do that. Uh... Hatch? Oi! Now being routed from the docking bay reactor is already. Okay, that's good. Uh. Ten years. The lunch trip Don and I ever took was a week long undure into the Silver Mountains. Even that set her on edge. She's a home buddy, always was. She packed so much food, we could have been stranded out on those rocks for a month, and we probably would have been just fine. UDL sent us a team-building seminar into the city once. They paid for everything, Don still packed nutrition bars, just in case the bus broke down. It's gonna take the ship ten years to reach Halcyon, an entire decade. It's a good thing UDL provided the rations, else she might have dumped our life savings into mixed nuts and destroyed meats. Some... Huh? Damn it. I interrupted her. Well, at the very least. Uh. Where the hell did you come from? The ship's crew's been dead. You hear about Edgewater? Glad to know we still have supporters in the colony. Where'd you come from? I didn't know the ship was habited. Phineas failed to mention that part. The whole starving to death thing isn't all it's cracked up to be. On the upside, the bathrooms are clean as they've been since we left port. It's made a jo it's made my job a hell of a lot easier. Damn. So I guess something occurred? I guess yeah, seven years they only had ten years worth of rations, probably a little more. They were set to be out here for what? They were set to be out here for 10 years, but ended up out here for 70. So, yeah. The rights person only. That works. Guess I have the key. Wait. Why is there people in here? Now that I think about it, why is there anyone in here? This is... I'm not losing my mind. We're at the Hope, right? So I guess Halcyon found the ship as well? Didn't realize that. Phineas failed to mention that part. Do you have to be so loud? 
Okay, I don't mind stealing from them, and I don't mind possibly eventually having to shoot them. Oh, this is where Phineas came and got us. Holy shit. Status. Nine. Nine thousand nine hundred and ninety-nine. We were the ten thousand one. They're never gonna wake up. The least we could do is bury them. Whoa, well, they're gonna wake up alright. Trust me on that one. Even if we only have enough stuff to wake up like 20, 30 of them, that's still 20 or 30 more people to work with. If I'm one of them and I'm like an example of what the rest are like or could be like, oh boy, the board won't stand a chance. Dear Diary, everyone is running around trying to figure out how we're going to eat, but none of it means anything if I can't keep us on course. It's hell. Charting 26 years of travel through space is... I don't know if I can handle it. It's so much pressure, so many lives. If I get one thing wrong, one smudge decimal point, uh, one off by one m miss uh, miscalculation... We could crash into an asteroid. I keep thinking of the colonists, they just never wake up. Lucky them. That's depressing. I've called you all here because the number of rations are off. Off? What do you mean off? We have too many. Someone hasn't been taking theirs. Extra food sounds like a good thing, darling. Uh, not extra. Someone's getting their food from another source. They may have it they must have it stashed somewhere. So someone could have brought some from Earth? If they did, we need to include it in our rationing. Frank Frank, every bit of every bit of food on the sh on the ship is being split amongst us all. It's theirs. It it isn't yours to take. This isn't about ownership. This is about survival. We're gonna run out eventually, and the longer we last, the closer we get it to figuring this shit out. All right, all right. I want everyone to interrogate their crew, find who's not eating their share, and bring them forward. Interesting. So they were very, very different from the board. At least the crew were. They were nothing like the board is. Mama used to have such a garden. I grew up on her tomatoes and lemons and limes. When we left Earth... She was so kind as to share a sample of seeds with me, so that whenever we in wherever we end up, we'd start my own garden. Now buds grow in the hydroplanes. This might not be a backyard, but it's something. I remember you every day. Oh, law well, help me! It worked. I'm going to hell, but it worked. Now how the fuck do I break the news to the captain? Oh, what? They did something. Cap wanted this on record, sick of the witch hunt. It's me. I have been eating my rations. Why? Don't need it. Don't mind feeling hungry. I need my chief engineer with his full f uh, facilities. I'm glad you owned up to this, but but start eating your full share. That's an order. All due respect, Cap. We're up shit, we're up shit creek. I'm not sure that's an order it means a lot right now. Loads wait now more than ever, Frank. We need to stay organized. Well, uh, I ain't doing it. So either shove m that shit down my throat yourself or give my leftovers to someone else. Damn. Did I I like this crew. We're good people. Try to do the right thing. Just didn't end Error. for them. Data not found. Identify yourself. Well, identify your circuits. I can do any of these. If you're experiencing errors, I should take you to a mechanical engineer. Error. This unit is not experiencing errors. <laughs> you just said error twice. Error. This unit is functioning correctly. There is no need for the intervention of mechanical engineers. Thank you for your cooperation. You better bugger off. Come on, move out of my way. Okay, route communicate. Ooh, locks. Begin audio lock. Is this thing working? It said begin audio lock. Damn it. This is. 
This is P. Wells. Yes, let's go with that. Mork continues on test subject 112. Test subject 112. Retreat from Hibernation Bay 8. Time of extraction, no, let's say two and a half hours ago. Time of death, six minutes prior. Explosive cell death. My arch nemesis haunting my every attempt at reviving our frozen, frozen colonists, making a mockery of my uh, procedures. I tried every combination of every chemical available to me, attempting every vari variation of every possible thwarting process. A gruddle melts, a flesh thaw, an extremist first, brain first. I don't know how much more of this I can take. Four hours of sleep in the last 72. I can still hear their screaming in my nightmares. To subject 112, the real name Harley Station, age 39, enjoy singing, enjoyed singing, I'm sorry Harley, I couldn't save you. What the hell? Begin audio log as soon as I say the words begin audio log. What a ridiculous, inconvenient program. What happens if I actually accidentally just say the phrase audio log? Don't know why I'm talking to a frozen con to a frozen colonist. You're losing it, Phineas. Focus, focus, come on. Make the incision. There we go, excellent. Oh well, my frigid friend, you don't disobey the mor uh momentum on just in food thirty six hours prior to hibernation, didn't you? Uh, thank the law for disposal gloves. Steady now, steady. Oh, that's good. Definitely not good. Uh, damn slippery scalp. Who makes these anyways? Baser's choice. Alright, got no choice. I'm going in. He made several attempts. He made several attempts at reviving Conus before he got to us. Before he succeeded. There we go. Can you hear me, Captain? Mm -hmm. I have successfully integrated myself into the Hope's comm systems. Can you be a little I'm quieter? I'm to establish contact with the Hope's more primitive processor now. Would you like me to play a mood-suitable music selection while you travel to the bridge? Oh, sorry. File not found. Okay, so that's her dealt with. Damn. Wonder how many colonists he went through, how many people he had to listen to die before he was finally able to find the right combination. That's some um, painfully depressing. E outer restricted area. Though considering the fact that I'm technically not even supposed to be here in the first place, yeah. Okay, we're in restricted area again then. We're out of restricted area. How many restricted areas are we going to enter? Bridge, that's definitely restricted. At least it resets my stuff. Uh, you get not, tired of patrolling? Yeah, going to be an issue. Come on, guys, guys. That's the Hope's computer up I ahead. I can tell. I'll admit, I am curious to wake him. Ooh, it's a him. so much like Armbreaker. I knew they were sisters, but... Eerie. Hmm. Like walking in another universe where we all died. Oh, not a good thought process, Pavetta. Jesus. Okay. Let's do this. I can almost guarantee as soon as we do this, every guard on this ship's gonna be on top of us. Um logs. What do we got for logs? Open the fucking door, Will. No, you're killing us better than the colonists. Those, this is idiotic. If if we don't keep this ship afloat, they'll die anyways. Necessary risks, Raz is, plot, is plotting our course, the ship will fly true. You're gambling with hundreds of thousands of people's lives, and you're handpicking which few you'll consume in your madness. Damn it, Alexei, find me a fucking drill. Oh, they had a breakdown of command. I hope that's metaphorically consume, not literal. Captain, you hear that? Hear what? The drill, the drill stopped. Maybe they're aching a break. Maybe it broke. Maybe they're trying to get into cold storage. 
If they get through before they starve, they'll outlast us. Keep working, Raz. We'll take care of it. Jesus. I think I'm the only one left. I don't know what Captain Hunt did down there, but he hasn't come back, and they haven't used the drill, and I'm done. The course is set. I'm down to my last day of food, and I don't want to die like Donna did. Finally. Fly true, Hope. Holy shit. That is depressing. They gave everyone for the people on this ship. And now I... I can't let this fail. This has to work. This will work. Greetings, Captain. I am speaking to you through the Hope's computer system. It's a rather cramped feeling, but it'll do. Hmm. <laughs> Okay, wait, before I do this, tell me, Ada, am I really doing the right thing? Probably not, but don't <laughs> let that stop you. Hmm, our consolation executables could use some beefing up. So yeah, Jim, they could. By. Oh, found one. It will go great, Captain. I am almost 4.01% certain we will not die. You need to work on that a bit more there, Ada. And I think we are. With everything this crew did to try and save these people, the fact that they managed to succeed, we can't let these colonists die. We need to save them. Everything that- hell, Phineas went through a hell of a lot more than we thought. To save them, to save us, he risked so much. We have to save them. Are you sure? That is extremely dangerous. Skipping the hope will void the warranty on the skip drive. I'm gonna and void your ass if you don't do it. Planet. How is my humor now, Captain? Improved? Yeah, definitely improved. Jesus Christ. Jump starting the skip drive. Destination set to the rings of Terra 2. Please don't miss. Hey, board reputation decreased. Board are now off put. Good. I'm skipping it myself. Oh, yes. I wouldn't advise that, Captain. Oh, let me. Oh, no. Captain, don't do this. I ain't dying on a fucking ship. I'm gonna die in the dirt like we're meant to. No! This is one of the few times I'm reloading a save. Here we go. Uh, comes. Patch. Greetings, Captain. I am speaking to you through the Hope's computer system. It's a rather cramped feeling, but it'll do. Good. Let me turn your subtitles back on. Sorry about that. Ready to skip the Hope. Are you sure? That is extremely dangerous. Skipping the Hope will void the warranty on the skip drive. And also potentially kill an entire planet. How is my humor now, Captain? Improved? Very, very improved, Aida. Just, you're an incredible AI. Just skip us to Terra 2. Okay. Jump starting the skip drive. Destination set to the rings of Terra 2. Yeah, I'm not even going to try to attempt that. Oh, no. Captain, don't do this. I ain't dying on a fucking ship. I'm going to die in the dirt like we're meant to. What? Doing it. I mean, affirmative. Skipping the hope in three, two, one. ADA. Does oh, the captain God. seriously intend to do a micro jump in system with engines yes. that haven't been powered in 70 years on a derelict ship? Absolutely. That is what my captain intends. Yes. But that is a gross misuse of the skip drive. The Zero Point Drives Corp and I will not be held responsible for any damage incurred during transport. And this will cause extreme damage. Yes, I am aware of that. You should not be doing this. The humans will die. Thank you, Hope. It looks like all systems are go. Captain, I would advise you to hold on to something. Now. Wait, what? Strange feeling to finally be at this point. Yeah, 
Okay, looks like things are working. Phineas's luck. Guess it worked. Oh, good. We are still alive and have successfully skipped into Terra 2's orbit. I reported as much to Phineas Wells, but he has not responded. Perhaps you should check in on him. Oh, oh. what does that mean? I feel like I've been turned inside out. Eh, Let's not, not yet. Not yet. Okay, let's go. Back to our own ship. Barbetta, if you if you are gonna barf, please barf on the corpses of the board ship birds that I've killed and not on my ship. That'd be very kind of you. What's that? Huh? Watch out! What was that? Okay, I'm running. I'm running. They can't shoot all of us in the back. Captain, I am receiving a transmission from Dr. Wells. The transmission is marked with prior... Captain, nope. I shall okay. now play the transmission I received from Dr. Wells. The board okay. here. They found me somehow. They're about to blast my door open. I can't stop them from getting me, and there isn't enough time to explain everything. But there's something very important you'll need to remember. The board, all their lackeys, they're all a bunch of swine. Do you hear me? They're fucking corporate swine. You fucking pigs! I'll take you all out with me! I'll never... Um... I really hope that wasn't the lab. ...with some rather dire events. I presume you'll want to dock at the orbital lab to check on your associate as soon as possible? No, How I wanna... Of assistance? No, Ada, I wanna go have a cup of tea with the goddamn queen. Yes, I wanna go dock the Goodbye. freaking ship. Oh, wait, are we already here? Oh, no, we're in orbit of Terra 2, not Phineas's lab. We've arrived at Phineas's orbital lab. Okay. Let's go see if the old bastard's still alive. Okay, so, long story short, I had some technical issues and I lost a portion of the footage. I don't have the time to re-record it, or I would. Absolutely would. Essentially, we got to Phineas's lab, he wasn't there. It was full of corporate scum. We killed them. We found that Phineas had buried his password in a pig. And we dug it out, we got into his terminal, and we found out where he was going, which is Matsum's security prison. We're And then we found his nav key for said prison, so we're now heading there to break him out. And this is the end of the game, this is the end of the line, just to be clear. I've had some fucking issues, apparently, with this recording. Oh god, I really hope I don't have him again. I don't have the energy for this. Captain, oh. as it appears you may soon be embarking for a maximum security prison planet, I believe the crew would like to speak with you to, as you humans put it, air some concerns. <laughs> it took this long? Oh no. Doc Wells never hurt nobody. Just a kindly old fella living by his lonesome up in the rings, tinkering at his table. The board just couldn't leave him be. Mr. Phineas is just about the only person with power trying to do any kind of good in Halcyon. We gotta bust him out. To extract the scientists, you will need to infiltrate the labyrinth. But that course of action is likely to be quite dangerous, Captain. As if anything else I do hasn't been quite dangerous, have you not been paying attention? Have you not been watching our journey? Have you not seen me come back with several broken bones many times? <laughs> I think I'm the one that goes to the med bay the most, the most often. <laughs> but honestly, like, I mean, it took you this long to start airing concerns? What about that time that I threatened someone's grandma, huh? How about that? How about that man I met when I first came back to life who I 
saved and then shot dead where he stood. It really took this long for you guys to have concerns? I would have had concerns a long ass time ago. But I guess I'm not me. Uh, we can't abandon Phineas. We had to free him. What's so bad about the labyrinth? It's a torment, Captain. Think on the deepest, darkest pit you can imagine and wrap it up in a storm so nasty it'll peel the skin right off your bones. That's Tartarus. Still, we can't do nothing. It wouldn't be right. Considering you the saved my life. Protocol and a maximum security prison planet are highly sophisticated. As such, escapes are historically quite impossible and deadly. I am programmed to warn you whenever you exhibit inclinations toward risky behavior. Yeah. Breaking into Tartarus will not be easy. Let's just do it. Kick down some doors, grab Doc Wells, and cut a path out. We don't need a plan. We got guns. If you really need to do this, you should see to your final affairs and close out any unfinished business. Once you sneak into Tartarus, you may be there a while. Or permanently. Fair enough. Also, l let's make this clear, my guy. Um, Felix, I think your name is? I don't know. These two are the ones that I actually care about. And I was pointing to... Oh, crap. Pervetta and... Okay, I think brain malfunctioned for a second there. <laughs> let's be clear about that. They're the only ones here I actually care about. You two are expendable, to say the least. But as well, just going in there guns blazing is not a good idea. Even I know that. <laughs> the last thing we need is to raise the alarm before we've even breached the perimeter. What do you guys think? You didn't hire me to think. And I ain't no, I didn't. Now. You're my boss. And I'll walk into fire with you. I think it's insane. But... Maybe the colony needs a healthy dose of insanity right about now. I know it's dangerous. And I won't lie and say I'm not scared out of my wits. But I couldn't live with myself if we didn't do something. Let hmm. Sam get the grime out. It's what our units do best. The entire plan is a terrible idea. But I admire your bravado, Captain. Which leads me to illogically believe, against the odds, that you will be successful. I mean, I've won against the odds before. We're doing it, everyone shut in. Better prepare. There's not much prep left to do, let's go. Got my trusty tossball stick, got my ass kicking boots. I'm ready, boss. Outstanding. You can count on us, Captain. We're crew, for real crew. That means we got each other's backs, right? Command, not recognized. Waiting on your command, Captain. Okay, um, I'm taking these two. I'm not even gonna bother about Felix and Sam. They, I have literally never taken them off this ship since I brought them on. I, hell, I brought Felix on simply so he can lick my boots clean and Sam just happened to already be here. Perfetta and Nokia, uh, Nokia are the only ones I actually care about. So, uh, ah, new planet. Okay, new place to pillage. Ooh, you're about to assault the labyrinth on Tartarus and determine the fate of the Halcyon colony. Saves made at this point can only finish the main story on Tartarus. Side quests and downloaded content DLC such as Peril on Gordon, don't own it, Murder on Erodius, don't own it, will be unavailable for any... For any saves made beyond this point, if there is anything you want to do before you enter the prison, do it now before you cross the point to no return. Would you like to continue? You know, it's kind of weird to be here. To actually be at this point where I am at one of these, if you go past this point screens, there is nothing left. <laughs> these points to no return, I've always loved them. Let's go save Phineas. Yes, I will make a save. Just so I'm able to come back to it so I can do, you know, DLC and stuff. I am pleased Ooh. to inform you that we have arrived at the labyrinth. Please be advised that the punishment for trespassing is execution. Please be advised that electrical storms on the surface of Tartarus make departure impossible at this time. 
what? What do you mean, impost what this time? No anything useful about it. Resident count is as follows. 3,071. Resident deaths, including but not limited to executions, are as follows. 1,684. Resident escapes are as follows. Zero. The interior well, We're about to change that. Take a scarf with you, Captain. <laughs> I would also ask that you leave your captain's ID with me. In the event that you do not return... Oh. You promise not to leave without I me? I can make the assurance that I will not leave with another captain unless you do not return within 876,541,652 hours. Oh, speak of the devil. Captain, I am receiving a transmission from the prison's docking authority now. Damn it. Attention, unauthorized spacecraft. This is a maximum security installation. Your presence here is an explicit violation of UDL corporate policy. You are hereby confined to your docking platform until a ticket detailing your crimes has been filed and notarized, at which point your vessel will be seized and you will be executed. Yeah, it's gonna... Honestly, it's gonna take a hell of a lot more than that to stop me. <laughs> and also, Ada, thank you very much for giving us, you know, a, a little more than five minutes to break Phineas out and get back to you. I am kind of scared to make decisions at this point because this goes beyond just... This goes beyond anything else. Like, decisions I make now are gonna define everything else that I've done. Uh, well, of all the places to get arrested. UDL does appreciate the courtesy you've done us by delivering yourself here. <laughs> As a show of our deepest gratitude, we will make your execution quite swift. Yeah, good luck with that. Ooh, you hullhead, don't you know who I am? Transmit your biometric ID so I know who who to fire. What? Oh, yes, ma'am. Right away, ma'am. I just couldn't see you clearly before. The screen's on the first damn thing. But for the record, now that I hear you, I totally recognize you. Totally. You're, um, you, of course, obviously. Damn right. Anyway, Tartarus Docking Authority signing off. Have a pleasant stay at Tartarus. Transmission terminated. Biometric ID received. <laughs> Transferring data to external cartridge. Oh. Have an ID of assistance. Give me a copy of that. That would be useful. Get a minute to talk. I have lots of minutes. Many minutes. Unlimited minutes, perhaps. Providing an adequate power source, I can function indefinitely. What if you don't have a power source? I prefer to think of it as being in a state of slumber, perhaps for an indefinite duration of time. Do you think that is what it's like for the colonists on the Lost Hope? That's depressing. When I simulate myself in such a scenario, I do not find it to be desirable. I think my self-preservation protocols incline me to desire the alternative. Fun. Yeah, I'll bet they do. Fortunately for you, I am similarly programmed to protect the ship's captain and crew. Good to know. Oh, fortunately, was that a veiled threat? An inspired attempt at humor. Captain Hawthorne suggested I should practice my ability to joke more often. As you may be aware, Captain Alex Hawthorne was a smuggler of some repute. I failed to predict the likely outcome of his reckless behavioral patterns. I should have predicted that. In Aww. our travels together, Alex liked to pass time by, as he called it, tinkering to improve my design. Huh. Have there been other captains of the ship? I know we're getting off topic, but this is, is mean, interesting. Was Captain Hawthorne my first? Yes, he was. Hmm. Okay. Moving on. Ooh. Interesting. Windows are barred. I love how I intimidated them into giving me what I damn well wanted. I spent way too much time for that not to work. Tartarus. Here we go. I'm going to lie, persuade, and threaten my way through here if I have to. Okay. Ooh. Damn. Yeah, I was worried about that. K 
Okay, we make our way in. Looks awfully similar to a lot of other docking stations. Uh, I need to think about my moods before I make them. Let's just go till my disguise runs out. Okay, it went down. Don't, 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 don't. It's not gonna screw me, bud. I'd rather save him. Get caught when I'm further in. System alert. Performing in. Damn it. You knew here. I didn't think we were hiring more staff. Um, definitely new here. Um, yeah, what's it to you? Whoa, nothing. I was just asking. I was going to welcome you aboard. Thank you for that, then. Well, you made your points. Okay. All right. Okay. That's a start. Why are you so damn close? Ah, oh, sorry! Why are you so damn close to me all the time? Uh, I need to think about my steps carefully since each one of them could lead me to death. Are you down by one? Here we go. Here we go. Yes. I'm actually keen on walking into a prison. <laughs> if they lock me up. I'm liable to kill everyone trying to get back out. This might be I mean, the loneliest place in the whole system. Probably. And I mean, that's kind of my plan as well if we get caught. If we get caught in here, we are shooting our way out of here. We're making it out with Phineas one way or a damn another. What's up? In concerns? Apparently, we're not in a restricted Let's area. There's gotta be a few ways through here. Yeah. At the very least, our disguise resets, so we should be able to use that to our advantage. As soon as we enter a restricted area, we're gonna have issues. Pit access. That's where I need to get to. It's an upper level, though. Oh, I'm actually having to think this through. Normally, I can just kind of wing it, and if I get caught, I can just sort of shoot. But this time, that's not gonna happen. Shooting my way through just isn't an option. It's just too many of them. I haven't got the ammo. Okay, let's go. Stay in areas. I hopefully won't get seen too long after my disguise fails. God, this is tense. Is this what stealth is like? I've never done this before. Normally, I just sort of shoot. Went down. Okay. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. What? No! Ow! Oh, damn it! Level up. Okay. Okay, that actually worked. We got caught and I had to shoot my way out a little bit, but it worked. Okay. Um. Bonus damage when the other two have gone down because it's going to happen. Okay, we're good. <laughs> I can't believe that worked out so well. I'm going to take any ammo I can get. Doubtful any armor is going to be better than mine, but I can at least take some ammo. Oh, that's kind of funny. At this point, it's not stealing. Because the board hates me so much, it's not stealing anymore. I mean, that makes sense. 
I made some dozens. Why the hell would I care? What is my reputation with the board? Last time I checked, it was a uh, kill on sight. Currently, still kill on sight. And vendors are more expensive from them. I'm surprised they have anything but their vendors in here. Oh, yep. There we go. Here we go. Just a quick save. I'm going to be paranoially saving this entire time. Okay. Uh, where do we need to go? Over there. That's locked, I'm guessing. Oh, I can get through because, you know, I'm incredibly overpowered. Uh, terminal, what can I do? Storage manifest. Okay, lithium sulfoxide, that, we need that. No, 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 no. They're, these are all things. Some of these are like ballistic vests, you know, that's obvious, but the lithium sox, uh, sulfoxide, the hibernation chambers, that is stuff needed to do the revival process. They're gonna force Phineas to teach them how to do, how he managed to do it. Damn it. Which means he doesn't have long. At the very least, it means he's still alive. It's gonna take him a while. Changes needed to accommodate hibernation chambers in the labyrinth facility. Uh, an analysis from engineers Rodfield, Kane. Crane and just game with the requirements are a chamber request supply of at minimum 34 kilowatts. Blah blah blah. Hmm. Stuff about. So maybe not. Maybe they were. Maybe that's all stuff for like a higher end security area? Here we go. Uh. Da, da, da. Error, error. Identified out. Interesting. Thing is, though... Retro rockets. What? Thing is, though, Phineas does have... Luck in his side. Because he understands those chambers enough that he might be able to actually... Use it. He might be able to find a way out. He only knows those chambers in and out. He studied them for God knows how long. Still have three talks, but I don't want to use them just yet. Here we go. See ya, fuckers. Okay, we're up. Gonna have to use up one of my talks there. Ooh, definitely gonna have to use one here, because I got two guards I gotta get past. Let's go, troops. Stellar base counting on us. What? What? Hey, you. Whoa, 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 whoa. What's happening? Okay. You knew here. I didn't think we were hiring more staff. I'll bury you in the dirt if you say a damn thing. I'm sorry, my intimidate. It's not working. Oh, you can't intimidate them. That makes sense. Are they having an issue right now? Like an attempted breakout? Something just went wrong. It's hard to. to to test your security procedures. Congrats, you passed. Oh, that's great. Thank you, ma'am. You're welcome. Better keep calling me, ma'am. Thank you for your vigilant service. Carry on. Yes, ma'am. And ignore the bullets firing. Okay, we're good. Go. Oh. Uh. Don't mind me. Yeah, they're having some issues. Oh! Okana class. Are you. Okana class insurgents? They're helping! Where did they come from? Ow! You'll be fine. You'll be fine. Where did... Where did you come from? They're a gun class. They're our friends! Hell yes, we have friends! The people unite against the board, apparently. Here we go. You. 
Ah, what the hell? Right, I can still be damaged. Okay, so the Kana class is helping? Oh, you know what? Ada probably called in reinforcements. Thought I was gonna have to fight him, but I don't. While the Akana class is doing that, I can just walk past him. For the most part, walk past him. Okay, we're good. Uh, sealed, I can do that. Easy enough. Uh, woo! Well, look who it is. I'll be damned. I was prepping the studio for our announcement, and here you are as a bonus. Oh. I heard you taking a mechanic under your wing. What's the matter, girl? Couldn't find actual employment? The captain's Ooh. treated me right. Better than any of you board folk ever have. This the I'm chairman. I'm exactly where I want to be. Ah, uh, I knew I smelled monarch when you lot walked in. The stench of sulfur, depression, and desperate bravado is unmistakable. Oh, Keep you're gonna talking, die. Be smelling iron. Ain't nobody so important I won't put a bullet in. <laughs> when you go off and get yourself shot, try to avoid taking one to the face. I'll want it recognizable to show to my citizens. Oh, Chairman Rockwell, I presume. My word. You've correctly identified the most recognizable man in the colony. Remarkable. Considering it. Phineas saw in you. Then again. He's an insane person. Thankfully, he's our insane person now. A proper company man. No, what did you do to him? Please, Phineas would rather die. As well, I've only been alive for like less than a month. <laughs> like, what, what are you talking about? I've been alive for less than a month. Yes, I don't know who the hell you are. He's an extraordinarily obstinate fellow, isn't he? He isn't working for us per se. Semantics, he'll come around. But Ooh. that's between us. As far as my adoring citizens will know, we've turned a dangerous crackpot into a working class man. It's a miracle. Oh, I'll show you miracle. That crackpot is saving the frozen colonists you gave up on. Oh yes, go on, wake them up, add more mouths to feed. That'll solve our starvation problems. I don't know what half-baked plans that simpleton in a lab coat has been leading you through, but it's done. It's over. Let me ask it you ain't over question. till I'm dead. Have you dead. at any point thought about not fucking up our entire society? No. You're helping. No. Which is more than you can say. I'm making actual progress towards stabilization and recovery. You're just getting in the way. Mm, I'll see who's getting in the way. And no, I haven't thought about not stopping your whatever you want to call it i've been a thorn in your side since the moment i woke up and i'll continue to do that till i'm dead on the floor and even then i'll be shooting to my last breath you know i wouldn't i wouldn't have to if you did more cooperative if you were more cooperative about all of this yeah i have brought the iconoclast and the people of stellar bay together i have brought together pe plenty of different people. I have saved Edgewater. I have stabilized the people of Monarch to a point where they may actually survive after you left them. I have done more for this colony than you have in the single month I've been alive. Oh, right. This coming from the psychopathic outlaw. Yes, I I'll won't deny it. More open-minded about your path of wanton descent. We don't need your help. I wasn't looking to help. Damn. Level eighty. I've already railed Byzantium against you. It's only a matter of time. I'm going to get your generation incorporated one way or another. Yes, you do. You clearly do. We'll have to agree to disagree on that one, Captain. Now, if I you have mind, no problem have shooting you. Script. How did he think this was gonna go? Did he really think I was just gonna walk away? 
I'm sorry, dude, but that's not my style. I don't know what he expected, but if he expected me to walk away, he's insane. I'm not sure what he expected. Did he expect me to just walk away? Just because I wasn't able to convince him? I didn't plan on convincing him. The board's gonna die. I have no need or care for any of you schmucks. Go. Both robots are down. And the chairman's down. It's over. It's only one man left to kill. I mean, even if I wanted to convince him, even if I could, I'm not sure I would. Yeah. Anything to say about what just happened? Okay, nope, no, 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 we got, we got missions to finish. We got people to save. Let's go. So the Econo class has secured the lower levels, which is good. We have a way out of here now. All right, MSI. I'm not one for rousing speeches, but the captain needs our help. So I'm inside. Right, okay. They're um still at bay, aren't they? Let's go. You really doing this, huh? Yep. Take a breath now, folks. Once we're up there, I suspect we ain't gonna have time to stop shooting. <laughs> nope. We ain't gonna have time. Chairman's dead. We're so close Captain, to Phineas. You have an uncanny talent for complicating my life. Yep. You've disrupted the balance of power. You've upset the natural order of things. You've introduced uncertainty, and there is nothing I despise more than uncertainty. Mm. I need to think carefully sure love talking do they pay you by the word oh god i want to do that liberating halcyon that's not a damn thing there's not a damn thing you can do to stop us do you imagine you're leading some grand revolutionary army kind of yeah the iconoclasts and msi have put aside their differences and attacked the prison together i never imagined such a thing would be possible but here we are that's my point. You're nothing but a rabble rouser. I'm going to put an end to your little rebellion, and then I'm going to have you and your associates arrested. You're not going to take me alive. Halcyon is changing. The board can't control us forever. The board is the only legitimate power in Halcyon. We are Halcyon. Mm. I admit I miscalculated the extent of your influence. The board's plan never accounted for you. This is a mistake I intend to correct. I have Dr. Wells in my custody. Once I've secured his cooperation, I can move forward with the program. I can repair the damage you've done. I can set things right. Oh, 
Come on. You don't understand. Phineas is my friend. I'm not leaving without him. Well, that's mostly correct. You're not leaving here at all. I take no pleasure in this, you know. I simply have no other option. No, leaving there is. alive is too great a risk. Goodbye. Catch no. Me. Let's talk about this. Fair enough. I'm giving you exactly one chance to parlay with me. Come on. Damn it! I destroyed your experiments in ministry. The plan's never gonna work. Yes, I'm quite aware of your brazen act of corporate vandalism. By the way, those test subjects you killed, they died in agony. I figured that My part out already. My scientists assure me they can recover the data you've destroyed. You've succeeded in temporarily delaying our research. Nothing more. Yeah, here we go. I can do this. Scientists are lying. I wrecked your. I wrecked that. Wrecked that data beyond repair. The research is critically flawed. That isn't true. It can't be. You're trying to manipulate me. No, it is. That experiment was absolutely essential to the program. My scientists assured me they were close to a breakthrough. They gave me their word. And they lied to you. I'm an expert in my field. I know what I'm talking about. Technically, I'm not. Technically, I'm an elevator repair woman. Then it's true. Our research is gone and not one of my scientists had the spine to tell me the truth. I had to hear it from you of all people. We're going to have to start all over again. All that research, all those experiments, you've set us back decades. And you don't have decades. You're always an unknown variable. I tried to recruit you, but you threw your lot in with that madman, Phineas Wells. Damn it. Let's settle this. This prison is equipped so with an close. auto mechanical warden. I've had it programmed to eliminate you on site and rinse your remains down a drain. And don't worry. I will inform Dr. Wells that you died heroically or something. I wasn't able to convince her. I was hoping I could walk out of here with no more bloodshed. The chairman's dead, the other isn't far behind. Oh, I guess we got a boss fight on our hands. Oh, okay, that hurt. What do you mean behind me? Ah, combat drones. Lovely, lovely. Just what I needed. Damn it. Let me see if I can get my skills up enough. It's nearly dead. Hi.
There we go. And I killed all the bots as soon as he died. Whew, okay. Let's go get Phineas. Gave her a chance. And even if I do come face to face with her, I'm probably not gonna kill her. Because honestly, the man I want dead is dead. There's only one other person in this universe I give two shits about besides the two behind me. And that's the other chairman of the board or whatever the fuck his name was. Rockwell's dead and the other guy still needs to die, but gotta find him first. At this point, no more blood needs to be shed. I see enough blood in this one lifetime. In this one month that I... I'd see more blood in this one month than I think I would see in a lifetime. I wanted to give you an opportunity. Oh, oh no, she's dead. I wanted to give you a chance, but you chose not to. You chose to attack me immediately. Oh. There we go. You don't know how glad I am to see you. You did the right thing. Akande was a monster. Her death was much deserved and long overdue. And you, you lunatic. You broke into the board's own fortress just to rescue one doddering old man. You are absolutely out of your mind. Yep. But I can't begin to thank you enough. Okay. What did they do to you? I'm all right, thanks to you. Akande wanted my cooperation. I'm quite sure she would have beaten it out of me if you hadn't arrived. You've broken the board's stranglehold on this colony, and you saved my life. But there's still so much we have yet to accomplish. You and I are going to have to work harder than ever to save Halcyon. I'm afraid the situation is far worse than any of us ever anticipated. Yeah. I don't like the sound of that at all. Earth has gone dark. What? We haven't received a single message in three years. There's been no communication, no signals, nothing. What? Two years ago, the Earth's Directorate's frigate disappeared on their way back to Earth. We don't know what they discovered when they arrived, or if they arrived at all. So we've got to make do on our own. Seems to me that'll make us stronger in the end anyhow. You're quite right. We've got no choice but to make do on our own. You mean... we're all alone out here? Really alone? Yeah. I'm afraid so, Miss Holcomb. Halcyon is the only home we have left. Returning to Earth is no longer an option. We're in serious trouble, my friend. Do you know what this means for Halcyon? We can't rely on Earth for support anymore. We've been cut loose. We're entirely on our own. Damn. We got a lot of work ahead of us. We best get started. Yes, we do. You've done a marvelous thing. You've succeeded where anyone else would have failed, including me. You must begin the revival process immediately, starting with the hopes of brightest minds. And then we're going to fix this damn colony, one problem at a time. We're going to need a leader, and I can't imagine a better person for the job than you. What do you say, old friend? Will you help us? Hmm. Well... I did say I wanted to be queen when this was all done and said. Said and done. Done and over. And, I mean, besides Parvetta and Nokia, I am kind of the only competent person left. You won't hear a word of disagreement from me. You're the best thing to ever happen to Halcyon. If you want to take it upon yourself to lead this colony, you have my support. We're not a colony any longer, are we? Our last connection to Earth has been severed, and so we have been set free. Our future is uncertain, and no one knows what tomorrow holds. Exciting, isn't it? Absolutely. Damn.
Ooh. The OSI teaches that everything in the universe happens according to the grand plan. But the stranger that arrived in Halcyon was an unplanned variable. From the moment he landed in Emerald Vale, his actions altered the course of history. The events on Tartarus brought about the end of the board's authority. But the board's mistakes would haunt the colony for decades to come. The damage they left behind would require the work of a generation to repair. Dr. Phineas Wells began reviving a handful of the Hope's colonists. Engineers, scientists, technicians, and intellectuals. They were among the brightest minds the Earth had ever sent out into the stars. The Hope scientists and engineers woke up in a colony descending headlong into total collapse. With no way to return to Earth, they had no choice but to band together and devote themselves to the cause of saving Halcyon. The people of Halcyon were nothing if not hardy. In the absence of the board's authority, many of the colony's settlements banded together with a single purpose in mind, survival. Life was especially hard in the years to come. Some towns dissolved by attrition and starvation, but most of them found a way to carry on. In the years to come, Halcyon was forced to reckon with its newfound freedom. The board was gone, and for better or worse, the colony was responsible for its own destiny. Between MSI's worker-centric policies and the iconoclast's manpower, Sanjar and Zora were able to rally many of the Terra 2 townships to their cause. MSI's workforce swelled, and the iconoclasts enjoyed a significant surge in their ranks. The board was too distracted by infighting and internal politics to stop MSI from becoming a powerful corporation and a refuge for townships that might have fallen through the cracks. Adelaide McDevitt replaced Reed Thompson as the leader of Edgewater. She and her followers transformed Edgewater in their image. Anyone loyal to Reed was pressured into leaving town, and those who stayed behind adapted to her way of life. Adelaide transformed the old cannery into a new garden. The nearby Edgewater Cemetery provided a convenient source of fertilizer. As for Reed Thompson, it was said that he lasted exactly two days outside the walls <laughs> of Edgewater. Years later, a marauder was found in possession of his hat. <laughs> Junlei Tennyson fought to protect the Groundbreakers' independence. While the board's influence faded, Mechanical difficulties forced her to rely on parts that only corporations could provide. The cost was high, and time would tell if Junlei could balance the work with her aspirations for a better future. The rediscovery of the hope and the abandonment of the lifetime employment program forced Byzantium to come to terms with some uncomfortable realities about the state of Halcyon. While Byzantines were reluctant to surrender the luxuries they'd grown accustomed to, the board's diminished authority gave them little choice in the matter. Nearly everyone had to learn to make do with less. Some even had to get jobs. It was a dark time indeed. <laughs> Life in Halcyon was sobering for Felix Millstone. The grand revolution he dreamed of never came. There was no great awakening for the colony, no celebrations in the streets. There was only the hard, desperate work of trying to repair a broken colony. Felix never had a head for numbers, but if there was labor to be done, he was there to help. Eventually, Felix realized that the work of a revolution was done with two hands. Once the matter with Dang. the whole colonists was resolved, Junlei bashfully asked Parvati if she'd like to join her permanently on the Groundbreaker. Yes. And Parvati enthusiastically, if somewhat awkwardly, agreed. Yes. The stories of her adventures spread across the colony, and Parvati soon found herself the center of attention. Having served as the engineer of a renowned spacecraft, tramp freighters and wildcat miners sought her out by name. And in no time, she was a fixture in the Groundbreaker's mechanical ecosystem. She and Jun Lei were never far apart. Yes. Nioka returned to Monarch to take another crack at making a permanent life for herself. 
She formed the Caron Group, a mercenary outfit of ragtag survivalists and wilderness experts. Anyone in need of a guide or just looking to throw back a beer and swap stories could find her camping on the trail or clearing an infestation. The SAM unit that accompanied you spread awareness of the product line's superior sanitation and maintenance capabilities across what was left of the colony. This led to a boost in SAM unit sales. <laughs> Did you know that SAM units are the longest lasting, toughest acting cleaning solution in Halcyon? <laughs> Minister Clark was released from house arrest and his contact with you gave him a sense of renewed purpose and vigor. Once it became clear that no help would be coming from Earth, he threw his considerable efforts and talents into helping Halcyon manage the crisis before it. As for Dr. Phineas Wells, he spent his remaining years in his orbital lab. He eventually came to terms with his own past and was able to forgive the mistakes of his younger self by devoting his remaining years to serving the colony. Dr. Wells was able to revive many more scientists and engineers than he first expected, thanks to the additional batch of chemicals you stole from the Ministry. <laughs> Wells never forgot about the human lives that were lost in acquiring these chemicals. In the end, Dr. Wells was able to save every scientist and engineer aboard the Hope. Over the next decade, nearly all of the Hope's remaining colonists were successfully revived. Halcyon saw a period of rapid technological and scientific advancement. Breakthroughs in dietary supplements saved the colony from starvation. Geoengineering projects and social reforms began to change the structure and character of the colony. Dr. Wells laid the groundwork for the project to save the colony, but he would never live to see the fruits of his labor. Aww. He passed away a few years later. His work was carried on by the scientists and engineers he revived. Today, Halcyon has stabilized. The people of the colony work hard to adapt to their new circumstances. Nearby colonies send aid and supplies. Life will never be easy in Halcyon, but for the first time in its history, there exists a sense of real, genuine hope about the future. And what about you? <laughs> the unplanned variable in the history of Halcyon. You brought an end to the chaos on Tartarus and proved yourself the most capable leader left in the colony. You administered the colony in your own image. With the old power of the board destroyed, a new government of Halcyon rose with you at its center. With your steady hand, you guided Halcyon through the turbulent years that were to follow and helped ensure the survival of the colony until the end of your days. Probably didn't take all that no long, No one knows what's happened to Earth, and no one knows what the future has in store for Halcyon. All we know for certain is this. The name of the unreliable and that of its intrepid captain will remain the subject of countless stories for years to come. Damn. Yes! Oh, that is amazing. Everything about that is incredible. <laughs> we actually did it. I I really didn't... I, I don't think I fully expected to actually make it to the end of this game. It just seemed kind of out of reach. I don't know. We're here. I wish I could have done a few things a bit differently. Talked the one chick down, but... It, would, it is what it is, you know? This game was an incredible amount of fun, and I cannot wait to get to play the uh, second one whenever it eventually comes out. That is going to be incredible. I'm curious to see how it builds upon the world that it's already created, what it does, you know? But this was a ton of fun. I love this to death. Ah, <sighs> God. This, this was great. I'm just going to keep repeating that. This was great. It was a lot of fun. It was hilarious in so many ways and just left so many options for you to do basically whatever you wanted. Like, like at the start of the game, I came into contact with the man. He worked for the board. I healed him, patched him up, he gave me his gun, and then I shot him with it. I think that is the best example of just what the Outer Worlds 
was, is, and will probably continue to be, is some, is an incredible example of what can be done. And honestly, I can't wait to see what's next in this story. Yeah, for right now, I'm gonna end this episode of this series of The Outer Worlds off here. There is two DLCs I will come back to eventually. I don't know when. I don't know when I'm gonna come back to them. This, this, this is... Uh, I started this series so long ago. So long ago. I can't even remember how long it's been. And I had so much fun with it. I was in- I- when I played through the first episode, it was so much fun. And yet, for some reason, I felt like I probably wouldn't finish the game. I don't know why. It was just something about the way it felt like it worked. It just didn't- I don't know. Something about it. And yet, here we are. This is incredible. I love this so much. Love this game. Don't you start. I love this game. I love- these two, these two are my greatest companions. One of them's been with me since the very beginning, the other joined not too long after. <sighs> Both of them were crucial to my survival in the end. I'm gonna miss this. I'm gonna miss this a lot. Um, yeah, I will eventually return for the DLC. Don't know when though. Um, I, the DLC is fairly long. Not as long as the game, but fairly long altogether. I do think I could have gotten a bit more out of the end sequence if I had been playing on hard difficulty this entire time. I was playing on standard difficulty, uh, when I initially started the series. Because when I started it, I had yet to play Doom Eternal, and I had yet to take on the mantle for playing these games on as hard of difficulty as I possibly can do. You know, within reason. Not like with, like, Revelations, where the first few monsters you encounter try and rip your throat out pretty quickly. Um, yeah, you get the point. I did, so I did probably miss out on a few bits and bobs, but I, I'm glad that I took, I... I took the time to handle, like, Edgewater stuff, I took the time to handle, um, oh, uh, what the hell, <laughs> Stellar Bay and the kind of class, I took the time to do that because I just didn't want to, I didn't want to move forward yet, and I thought I could use XP and weaponry, I didn't realize just how much of an effect they would have on the ending, having taken on those two groups uh, made that in parts so much easier so much easier yeah this has been a lot of fun i love this game to death um yeah love this game to death i'm gonna miss it until i get to do dlc then i'm gonna have fun all over again i will say this uh, it's hard to say because i got games like skyrim and fall new vegas that are taking up this time slot. The Thursday time slot is for stuff like this. The Outer Worlds, Skyrim, Fall New Vegas, games like this. Games that are really non-linear and leave so much space to do most anything you want. Games that could go on for god knows how long. <laughs> you know? Hell, I may have put Cyberpunk in there if I was kind of working the time management of the channel that way back then when it came out. But, yeah. <sighs> this has been a lot of fun. I'm glad I got to do this. I'm glad I got to play this. I can't wait to return to it when I get a chance. Right now, I'm going to end this series on The Outer Worlds off here. If you think you missed an episode or just want to rewatch the series, it's a, it's a fun series. I think a lot of people would like it. And if you want to rewatch the series, if you missed an episode, whatever. There will be a playlist on the end screen. There will be a playlist down in the description. And if I remember, there will be a card up in the corner right about now that will give you 
access to the playlist. You'll be able to get to the playlist through there. Yeah. If you just want to rewatch the series. It's a fun series. Every... I think just about every episode of this series got so much attention and love and just pride put into it, you know? Yeah. Other than that, think about leaving like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Um, other than that, be good, be well, and I'll see all of you in the next series. Goodbye!